Once you sign in, you'll see the overview tab for your default home page. In this case, the home page for Cook's Saw Manufacturing. The overview tab shows the title, description and keywords for this page. And below that, a content tag cloud, which shows the distribution of the most commonly used words. It's something like what a search engine would see. Next, is a resource breakdown, with optimization recommendations, which come straight from Google. On the right hand side of the tab, you can see page statistics, and in this case, the Google page load score returns a low value, indicating plenty of room for further optimization. Your Alexa traffic rank is also displayed, as are indicators if there are references on Facebook, YouTube and Twitter about this page. Finally, the overview tab displays information from the World Wide Web Consortium about validation, specifically looking at HTML and CSS errors and warnings. Each of these categories are dealt with in greater detail on the remaining tabs. For more information, please watch the other videos, or find us online at OptimizeMySite.com. The title tab provides added details about the title, including the number of words, characters and stop words. Keyword usage, or more often, keywords that are not used in the title are noted here. Related titles are from the top 10 related websites, at least according to Google, so you can see what your online competitors are using for their titles. It also gives you a short list of competitors you might generally want to keep an eye on. The description tab provides added details about the description, including the number of words, characters and stop words. Keyword usage, or more often, keywords that are not used in the description are noted here. Related descriptions are from the top 10 related websites, at least according to Google, so you can see what your online competitors are using for their descriptions. The Keyword tab delves even deeper into your keyword usage. You'll see how many keyword phrases, individual keywords and the total number of characters. The Keyword Phrases in the Content Report module shows how each of your listed keywords actually appears in your page. Items in red do not appear at all. Keywords in the headings and anchor tags, those used and those not used, are displayed. You can also see how individual keywords are used on the page, and again, those in the red are not actually mentioned. Trend in keyword phrases is from Alexa, and shows keywords, generally over the last 30 days, that people have used to find your site. And, finally, keyword relevance shows a relationship between those words you've listed as keywords for this page, and those words that actually appear here. Make certain your pages are readable with the reading ease and grade level indexes. You'll also see the content statistics, total words, unique words and sentences. HTML headings are broken out so you can see the titles as well as the hierarchy. An often overlooked, but exceptional opportunity, are the anchor tags and hyperlinks. Titles and alt text are often neglected by developers when adding links and images. And the same goes for images as well. They can include alt text, which provides additional ways to optimize your pages for search engines. You can see the most used words on the page, including the count and percent. And the content to code ratio gives another glimpse to what's under the hood. The social media tab shows the number of mentions on YouTube, Twitter and Facebook, for this page, or URL, and for the domain, or website. You can also see how Alexa is tracking your traffic. And your page is analyzed to see how easy you make it for others to connect with you. The 
the search tab showed a glance how many times your page and your domain are listed by Google, Yahoo and Bing. Backlinks, those links coming in from other websites are also noted. Your site is analyzed to determine if a sitemap.xml file and a robots.txt file are present, and if so, you can view them to see their contents. It also looks to see if this page is included in the demos directory as well as the Yahoo directory. Adhering to HTML and CSS validation standards help to optimize your pages. Correcting errors is essential. Warnings are generally less important. It's important to have analytics installed for your web pages, and we determine if they are installed. And, finally, we check your domain information and display its age and pending expiration. Here you will see a dynamic to-do list, with both critical and unimportant action items. You can also print page, site and competitive analysis reports. And you can access library or online resources. For more information, please watch the other videos, or find us online at optimizemysite.com.